the name of your book and, and just what it's about in general? The name of the book is Chronicles of a Supernaturalist and it's basically a book about my life and where I've come from and how I've grown along the way and a lot of my experiences. It kind of, I guess, kind of shares a little bit about who I am and where I come from and, and it's been a book that I was really proud to do and, and it was, it's been a long time coming. What stands out the most to you about your book? What do you want people to know? You know, I think the biggest thing to know is that, you know, that's, that's, that's a really great question. And you know what, I think the whole purpose of doing the book is really not letting people know something about it. It's just, I just want to share about who I am and about where I come from. And I think that's a lot of us in this field that we've come to the point that we're wanting to share. We have to share our experiences. We have to share who we are, no matter how far-fetched it is or how supernatural it is. We want to share our experiences. And that's one of the things I really wanted to do with this book, is to really get it out there, let people try to know who I am, where I come from as much as possible, to kind of end this phase to begin the next one. So that's really the biggest point of this book. And it's been a whole process of me getting to know who I am and my purpose along the way. And it's definitely been a spiritual journey and a journey that continues. And this just feels like an end of a phase for me. After all these years, what motivated you to, to finally pen this book? Why now? You know, I think it came down to the point that I knew it needed to be done. Um, I think I, I really felt like I'm at an end of a phase. Even to the point where I've grown up, where I look back to my childhood friends, you know, David and Burnett that I write about in the book, my friend that I lost in an accident, Eric. I, I look back and my grandmother, my family, the whole process is pretty much just experiencing who I am where I come from, what made me who I am today on this earth, and also why God gave me the abilities He did, gave the experiences He gave to me to maybe help people along the way. So I, I really feel like it was just a point that this is where I was at, and it's time to move to the next phase, and this was time to put this book down and share it with others. Is the book available now for people to purchase? Absolutely. You can get it at um, chroniclesoversupernaturalist.com or you can get it at my web website at seansellows.com and go to the links and go from there. Can we expect future books? Absolutely. We're working on a lot of projects. That's one of, one of the things that I'm always doing. I'm always staying busy. So we've got a lot of projects in the work. A fiction book called Elizabeth, which we've actually did a movie script with with my team. Uh, we've got a book that we're working on more basically on the spiritual side and we're also working on a book that you know I do a presentation about down at the crossroads and the crossroads legends and it's a book about that and some of the mus musical artists so I've got a lot of um, I guess you can say irons in the fire and I hope to get uh, many more books in the near future. As an author and, and as an investigator where do you see yourself in 20 years? You know that's a great question. And I really never thought I would get where I'm at at this point. And where I go in the next 20 years, who's to say it's in God's hands? I just hope I can stay in the light, continue to do the right work as possible, and make it biggest difference, make make the biggest difference I can in this field and helping others along the way. And I hopefully see myself as an author to be somebody that's well respected in this field, somebody to know that they're true and real to their beliefs and where they're at, and that I'm always coming to them the best way I can and, and, and in an honest way. Do your team members or friends, family help you with your books? Absolutely. Jake Bell uh, wrote the book with me, helped me out. He's a member of my team and worked with me for I guess for several years now in a lot of these private cases. We travel around, we do a lot of work and he's definitely been a big, big asset to me and a part of my team and he's pretty much a part of our family right now and the way, the way we're going. My wife Michelle is a big part of what we're doing in the promotions, the artwork and my um, good friend Mark in Atlanta help edit the book for us as well, as well as our friend Pam. You know, I think the biggest thing about the book is that I'm really nervous. You know, I, I, my friends and everybody often ask me, you know, why do you do all this stuff if you kind of shy away from a lot of the spotlight? But I really feel like I really need to do this. And I really feel like it's a calling since day one. And it's something I've always dreamed to do. And I can honestly tell you this book is absolutely a dream come true for me. It's something I've always wanted to do and hope to do in the future. And what makes it so so important to me is that I've been able to do it with people that I love, and people that I work with, and, and the bonds that we have. It makes it that, that, that much special, working with Jake and Michelle and everybody that believes in what we're doing in our cause. And it's also important to me to write about our childhood and my good friends and, and our loyalty. And the people that personally know us know the ties that pulls us together and makes, makes it a special friendship. And I truly believe that everything I've done in my life, all the experiences has happened. At one point I maybe, maybe looked at it as a curse, but I truly look at it as a blessing. And it was the stones that I needed to take to get where I'm going and where I'm at. 
So I look at this whole experience as one of the greatest blessings I can have, and I'm really excited about this book, and I hope people enjoy it as much as I enjoy doing it. And I'm going to do a lot more projects in the future, and we definitely just do our work from our heart. That's the only way I know how to do things. But I appreciate everybody's support, everybody's friendship, and we'll keep doing the best we can.